Hey kids, Dan Moran here with Concierge Diamonds. Uh, one of the questions that's uh, always asked of me, and it's a legitimate question, is, okay, I've decided to buy a ring from you, Dan. What does the process look like? How do we go from here's my money to here's a ring? It's pretty straightforward. The first step is for us to envision what the ring design will look like, and we sketch it out. We make a sketch that looks something like this, something like this, something like that. We do a lot of sketch work here, and no, I'm not the one doing it. I can't draw to save my life, but I've got people on my team who are really, really good at it. So we do a sketch, we agree, yes, that's the right idea. At that point, I take over, my team takes over. We first design the ring in the computer with a computer design, then we use that to 3D print a wax. That wax lets us make a ceramic casting. We inject metal into that casting mold, uh, remove it, clean it, polish it, set diamonds, clean it again, and voila, you have a ring. Now, there's really no reason for you to be involved in any of that uh, behind the scenes process. That's what I'm here for, to inspect for quality and make sure everything's as it should be every step of the way. I've had clients ask me to see uh, waxes and computer designs, etc., and every now and then I'll show them. But to be honest, it's more confusing than it is helpful. Why would that be? Well, the truth is that most of the intermediate steps between a design and a ring don't look much like a ring, and they're more confusing and scary than they are helpful. Imagine if I was a baker and you said, Dan, bake me a chocolate cake. And I came back to you a few days later with a picture of some flour and some sugar and some eggs. You would say, hold on a second. I didn't ask you to make me breakfast. I asked you to bake me a cake. Well, I am, but it just doesn't look like a cake till it comes out of the oven. So most of my clients will just let me handle it, knowing that I'm not done until they're 100% happy. That's an important hallmark of my business. I'm not done until you're happy. So if you're not happy, I'm not done. So that's the back end process of making a ring. You might wonder, but Dan, what if I can't sit face to face with you and work on a sketch? What if I'm, I'm not local to you? No problem. Today we have the technology with the internet to very easily be trading sketches, ideas, doodles, videos, what have you back and forth until we lock in the design together. And in fact, many of my clients will start with a ring design they found somewhere on the internet and say, hey, here's a picture of a ring I like, but can we do it? a little bit differently, a little bit taller, a little bit shorter, thinner, thicker, higher, lower, whatever, and we make the adjustments. So actually, trading pictures back and forth online turns out to be a pretty convenient way for us to start working together. So that's the basic process for making a ring. Uh, it's, it's what I do all day long, and I've gotten pretty good at managing it. So you can rest assured as we go through ring design that you're in good hands. Thanks very much. Dan Moran here. Have a good one.